Well, Zach Ewing here in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico at the Pan American Center where the cleaning crew is cleaning up after uh, New Mexico State's 63-55 victory over Cal State Bakersfield tonight. It completed a sweep of the regular season series for the Aggies over the Roadrunners. Both were close games, of course, Roadrunner fans Remember the nightmare at the Icardo Center January 23rd. Lost a 14-point second half lead. Ian Baker hits the long three-pointer to win it. Tonight it was a similar story except that it was a close game with 10 minutes left. And uh, then CSUB went into its drought. They led by two points. In fact, to be specific, with 8.38 left on a Damian Durham layup that gave CSUB a 41-39 lead. Then they went quiet again, just like they did in Bakersfield uh, against the Aggies, and a lot of that has to do with the Aggies' defense. Pascal Siakam had seven blocks tonight. He really struggled offensively, only one of 12 from the floor. He had five points, uh, but he had 12 rebounds, and he had seven blocks, and uh, really made it difficult for CSUB, and they did not score again until there was just 237 left, and at that point New Mexico State was on a 12-0 run. They had a 10-point lead, and the game was essentially over at that point, and uh, included in that run, by the way, Again, there goes that man again. Ian Baker beat the shot clock buzzer this time with a desperation heave from about 23 feet. Uh, and that gave New Mexico State the lead for good at 43-41. And then the, the next two daggers came from a guy that uh, local Bakersfield fans know well, Braxton Huggins, who, uh, who was our player of the year for B-Varsity a couple of years ago at Miramonte. He's a sophomore here at New Mexico State. He hit back-to-back open three-pointers just sank them they were daggers for CSUB made it an eight-point game and again by the time the Roadrunners got their offense going it was really too late uh, so that was the that was really the story tonight the story the whole season look New Mexico State 34 home whack wins in a row here at the Pan American Center and uh, you've got to tip your cap to NMSU for that run they will almost certainly win the regular season championship again they have a one game lead on Grand Canyon now a two game lead on Bakersfield with three games to play and for New Mexico State they'll be heavily favored in each of those three games so Barring a, a complete disaster for New Mexico State, they will go into Las Vegas and the WAC tournament as the number one seed. Of course, Grand Canyon cannot play in the WAC tournament, so they'll be the one seed. Bakersfield almost certainly will be the number two seed, uh, and uh, so these teams are on track to meet for a third time, and that would be in the WAC championship Saturday night, March the 12th at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. So that's what all the focus was on in the post game for Bakersfield. Uh, you know, tip your cap to New Mexico State. They beat us tonight, but. Uh, can we possibly get them in Las Vegas? Until then, New Mexico State uh, continues to give Bakersfield problems. This is 11 wins in 11 tries all time against the Roadrunners, and the Roadrunners have themselves an Aggie problem. The good news for Bakersfield, they might, probably will, get one more chance against New Mexico State, and it will be for all the marbles in the Western Athletic Conference Saturday night in Las Vegas in three weeks. So uh, we'll catch up with you then in Las Vegas. Yes, you'll have to win a couple of games to get there uh, on Thursday's quarterfinals and Friday's semifinals. New Mexico State will most likely get a bye to the semifinals, and they would they would play Friday to get into the Saturday night final against possibly CSUB. So again, your final score tonight from the Pan American Center in Las Cruces, New Mexico. It was New Mexico State 63, Cal State Bakersfield 55. Signing off, everybody.